Please welcome the man who puts the laughter in slaughter, Liam Haddock. Welcome to Series 6 of Robot Wars, and we have reached Heat C, which is Skyrocket's Heat. Min won Series 2 and 3 with Smasher, but they fell at Series 4 and Series 5. But can they go all the way again, or are they going to come down crashing to the Earth with a bang? Let's see who was on their radar. Round 1 sees Skyrocket going toe to toe with Corrosion, as after that, Newcomer Sobrero and Marcus of Queensbury duke it out for a spot in the second round. Then, veterans of the Warzone player and Steve have gone different routes, as player sticks with Betsy too, while Steve has brought a new machine in Tinad. And lastly, two top contenders who've fallen on bad luck, Jabberwocky 3 takes on Lev to complete our round 1 fights. From min 430303 and seeded number 3. Sky Rockets. The biggest flipper returns to Robot Wars as the third seed. Opponents struggled with their size, but they did two as they were easy to outmaneuver. They only need one big flip though, so we'll have to see if they can get that flip they need. Remained Wolf Corrosion. Corrosion is a new competitor for this series and they sport a pneumatic flipper as well as a rear mounted drum. The construction company they took the scoop from may want it back without too much damage though. Robot is stand by. The house robots in the arena, Sergeant Bash and Matilda. Three, two, one, activate. Seats. Skyrocket sending corrosion out the arena and going in to the next round. A promising design but not a promising start as corrosion was easily flipped into by Skyrocket, giving the free seeds a spot in round two. Sobrero and Marcus of Queensbury are up next. Cyber Star 777, Solbrero. Rookie Solbrero bring an overhead spinning hat with the potential to self right using the top of the hat. The different drive systems could lead to trouble, however, and they may need that self right quickly because of their geometry.
from Mamotis, Marcus of Queensbury. A weird and wacky newcomer, Marcus of Queensbury sports two spinning fists mounted on the sides towards the front with a two-wheel drive set up. This mouse is looking to return to Queensbury as a king. Robotiers, stand by. The house robots overseeing this fight are Mr. Psycho and... Growler. Three, two, one, activate. An interesting battle that was with um, Sorbrero and Marcus of Queensbury, but Marcus of Queensbury squeaks through with the judges' decision. They go into the next round. In a truly wacky fight, neither robot got that decisive knockout moment, so we went to the judges. And Marcus of Queensbury got the nod and the chance to advance. Betsy 2 and Tin had our third round one fight. For player but not, Betsy 2. Back again with fixes made after an early exit last series, could see Betsy 2 bring its spinning disc to bear against even more opponents. This old vet may have fallen by the wayside since series 2. But Betsy 2 still has something to prove. From Steve N4, Tinad. The only robot with a crushing weapon, as well as showcasing two angled spinners. Steve may have strayed from his flippers, but Tinad has a rather vicious attack method that may be the path forward. In a reverse design to dead metal, I think the house robot may want more than words.
Robot is stand by. The house robots of this fight in the arena, Sir Killalot and Shunt. Three, two, one. Activate. Tinad showing that they can lift and cause problems and going in to the next round. Another early exit for Betsy 2 after a rather one sided affair sends Tinad through to round 2, where they'll await the winner of our final round 1 fight, Jabberwocky 3 and Lev. Nathan Silva, Jabberwocky 3. A veteran of nearly every war, Jabberwocky returns looking largely the same with its pneumatic flipper and rear spinning disc. It's a design that's taken them to two heat finals in the past. Nathan will be hoping that this iteration can still accomplish that feat. From Aiden Muted. Treslev and Inferno. Former third and second seeds, Treslevas and Inferno, but bounced round one in the last wars in a massive shot. They've since moved away from the flipper towards a vertical spinner, which they'll want to use to get back on track to the form they've shown in past series. Robotiers, stand by. And the house robots in the arena, Shunt and Mr. Psycho. Three, two, one, activate.
seats. Jabberwocky coming back and showing off that they can be number one. Jabberwocky goes into the next round. The dominance of Lev may have come to an end as they once again got flipped Uter in round one, and Jabberwocky advanced in fine style to complete our round two matchups. Round 2 we'll see the powerful number 3 seed Skyrocket take on the unpredictable Marcus of Queensberry, and later on we see Tinad and Jabberwocky squaring off for a spot in the heat final. Robotiers, stand by. The house robots overseeing this fight are Mr. Psycho and Matilda. 3, 2, 1. Seats. The mouse keeps on squeaking and squeaks into the heat final. Another seed has fallen and at the same point a skyrocket couldn't get the shot they needed to Uta or KO Marcus of Queensberry and this mouse packs a punch which sent it through to the heat yeah. final after a judge's decision win. Jabberwocky free and Tinad next. Robotiers, stand by. The house robots of this fight in the arena, Sir Killalot and... Shunt. Three, 
two, one, activate. Jabberwocky can't self right and is counted out. Tinad goes through in two, the heat final. Once again falling short of old heights, Nathan and Jabberwocky are unable to reach another heat final as they get turned over and are unable to self right even then to be counted out, and Tinad the victor moving on to the heat final. In this week's heat final, more unique machines as Marcus of Queensberry and Tinad look to secure their place in the grand final. Both machines have shown exceptional control throughout the heat and have beaten more experienced and battle tested machines to get here. Both have also brought ingenuity to the war zone to get them to the heat final, and now, let's see how they got this far. Sturdy and steady, Tinad has proven to be a daunting task with its crushing grabbing beak and two angled spinners, as its defeated foe is going to test to. As in round one, they proved to be too much for veterans bets and two and bullied them all over the arena before getting to grips and flips with Jabberwocky free as they overturned Jabberwocky, only to discover their opponent couldn't self right and gave Tinad the shot in the heat final. Perhaps the biggest surprise this series, Marcus of Queensberry, may appear comical, but has shown to be no slouch in combat as they took a judge's win over Sobrero before shockingly doing the same to the seated and highly favoured Skyrocket. Wobbling their way through to this stage, it's been their choice to turn off their weaponry where we've seen them shine by controlling both of their opponents enough to get the judges nod to make it this far. Robotiers, stand by. The house robots in the arena are Dead Metal and... Growler. 3, 2, 1, activate.
mouse is no longer squeaking. Tinad goes into the grand final.